and here is my cream sweet cream or sweet corn casserole there we go uh, my chicken and rice with almond i got 14 little circles out of this oh my gosh that's two teaspoons of cinnamon and here we are i didn't think it was going to pop up that easily but you can use a smaller bowl like that so good and yummy oh my gosh i gotta get to chopping those onions and you know what i forgot on my plate a piece of sausage and oh my gosh, these are delicious. Hot, delicious. Isn't that cute? And there, that's the finished one. I wish I had videotaped in there. Howdy everyone, this is Trisha Texas Lady and welcome to my channel. Today is Saturday and it is time to do some sort of a wood, artsy kind of a craft. Yes, yeah, so I've got some cedar planks right behind me, as you can see. These are six foot tall uh, cedar planks. These are used for fencing, but I'm going to use them to create some artwork for my living room wall. And I found something that I really like that I'm going to attempt to try and make. So these planks here have these uh, edges on the top. It's called a dog ear. My husband's going to cut cut them straight so that we don't have to mimic that again. So we're just going to cut that straight, and then we're going to cut these in half. And then from behind, they're going to be put together with a two by two piece of wood that we've also purchased. At, we got these at, I'm not sure if we got them at Home Depot or if we got them at Lowe's, but either, either one, that's where you can go get these. Uh, if you're curious about them, they're dog-eared cedar pines for fencing is what they are. And um, you can find these in like treated or just natural, and, but we got the cedar because we liked the way that it looked. And now we think it's kind of nice to have that indoors. So here we go. My husband's going to cut these up and we'll be back. All right, so here we have the uh, cedar plank ready to be cut. My husband's marked it and he's got his saw ready with a little laser beam there ready to go. All fancy and everything. So let's get cutting this edge off. Oh, that was easy. Okay, now we're gonna cut them in half. He's gonna. All right. So what he's doing here is clamping all the pieces together, and then he's just gonna measure and cut in half. There's the one long pieces clamped on the other side. All right. So if you're wondering why we're clamping them together and not measuring each one separately, and then cutting each one separately, is because they don't have to be the they don't have to be equal because the item that I saw that I want to sort of replicate is not equal pieces and they're all kind of uh, just kind of rustic looking. So that's basically what my husband's doing. He's just going to cut them all at the same time and uh, they're sort of kind of butted at the ends, but they're not exactly the same exact length. They're not going to be straight and level. Right here we've got uh, the cedar planks. It was three since they were cut in half. Now we have six and we've kind of laid them together right here as you can see. And here I have this uh, strip of uh, wood. I had said earlier it was a two by two, but it's actually a one by three. Now these things are not exact one inch by three inch, but they will tell you on the label their size. But you can use anything. This is a long eight foot piece of uh, wood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut one piece to go across the top here and then another to grow across the bottom not close to the edges just somewhere near the bottom and somewhere near the top and then they're going to be screwed on screwed from the back onto each of these boards and they don't have to be the length of these boards just kind of inside to make sure you catch them all on the bottom and on the top so that's the next step all right so here is the board it's been attached at almost at the edge there and then at the other end over here it's also been attached with some wood screws making sure they didn't go all the way through this but they did capture this and this is pretty sturdy what I'll be doing is I'll be adding some little loop screws here uh, so then I can wire across like that so then that can be something where I can hang this because I'm going to end up hanging this on the wall now on the other side of this is where I'm going to attempt to create some artwork and um, that's what you'll be seeing next 
All right, so this is the picture that I have on my computer that I saved. This is the uh, inspiration that I have uh, for what I want to do on the cedar wood. Of course, it's not going to be exactly like this, but it is an ins inspiration. I like how it's not such a detail, but sort of kind of like a watered down, kind of stained uh, piece of wood. There is some whitewash on there, and then, of course, some dark lines of uh, black on here. And of course, also for the eyes. And then the rest is just kind of like little splatters of paint. So I'm going to try and recreate something like that. All right, so the uh, this is a really big piece of wood. And the horse on that is kind of, it's going to end up kind of big, taking up the whole, pretty much almost all the space here. So I need to decide where I'm going to start drawing. So I believe the horse has some, uh, let's start off with the head up here. Just a... Uh, more or less uh, where the edge of the top of his, its head is and we're just going to do like a more or less kind of a I don't know why I keep saying more or less but anyway I'm going to attempt to do the shape of a head just with a pencil just like that and then the um, the ears and they go up a little bit they get rounded off a little bit and kind of end up in a little little bit of a tip there and just like that I'm just gonna do a rough draft and then of course the back of the neck runs like that and then the back of him is just kind of hiding there's a bit of a muscle here and um, right around here do another line this is uh, where his uh, his nostrils would be so I'm just going to do a little bit of a little thing like that. <laughs> you probably can't see what I'm drawing very well on there, but once I start doing the black outlines, uh, you'll see what I've done. And just like that. And I just want kind of a rough. This is where the eye is. Here's where the other eye is. And I'm just doing the... A little bit of a shape here where the uh, the bridge of the the nose of the horse would be just to give myself an idea here and the shape of that eye right there and it's not very detailed in the picture so I'm not gonna worry too much about that and actually this is actually ending up coming out even smaller head than what I originally drew, so I'm going to end up doing the ears a little bit lower. Okay, so um, this is basically what I've done. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'll move the camera in a bit. A little bit closer. A little bit closer here. Here is where I've drawn the bottom where the uh, nostrils would be. The shape going upward to maybe one of the eyes here, another other eye here, and then this is going to be the top of the head. And I originally drew the top of the head way up here, but it looks like I'm going to have to go a little bit lower. So that's no problem with those pencil lines that I made over here for the ears. I don't know if you can see them. They're very faint. I went like this. Kind of make myself some little lines there. Also over here. Just some faint lines. And this was the top of my horse, but now this seems like the top of the head is going to be right around here. And then I'm going to just follow along. This is the back of him and do the, that kind of a splattered mane on there. And then, of course, down here, this is his, his uh, face. His mouth would be right here. And then down here, it just kind of goes down. There's like a little bit of a muscle right here for where his, his chest would be. And, this, of course, the leg or thigh muscle would start around and around here. Uh, but I'm not going to worry too much about those little details. I need to get some black paint, some browns, and I think I'm going to get some blues. And of course I need some white because I need to do a little bit of whitewashing. I don't really want to whitewash. I really like the cedar color of this. But I'm just going to add just a little bit, maybe sand it off a little bit, and then I'll show you as I go along what I've done.
right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding some shadows to kind of, so that I can highlight where the uh, face of the horse is, as you can see there. Um, this is where the eye is. It's not perfect in any way. It won't be perfect either when I'm done with it. But at least I'm getting that more or less of a horse look. <laughs> the ears up on the top there. I have to move the board around because it's easier to do that than move the, the whole camera because it keeps falling on me. And of course there's more to the board over here. Now I'll add some more white to it. And uh, right now I'm working on what it, what is the mane of the horse kind of coming back this way and then of course the back of the horse which is around right here so that's what I'm doing I'm uh, in some spots I'm adding a little bit of uh, water to kind of whitewash it and darken those spots and blend them in and that's basically what I'm doing right here the hump of the back here of his back right around there Okay. All right, so here is uh, some of the uh, buildup that I've done. It looks kind of odd from the angle that I'm at. But as you can see from the top, it doesn't look so bad. I'm just adding color on top of color, and uh, I've added some black, kind of watered it out. Then I've added some browns, and I'm adding some blues because I have blues in my living room, and I just wanted to add that in there because I really like that. So I'm going to continue doing a little bit more of that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more of white on top of... Uh, you know, areas like this and around like that and of course highlighting the face and right under here especially. Um, I'm having some trouble with this little area. Of course, you can see that it doesn't all look so great, but this is not supposed to be a detailed painting of a horse. This is just to kind of give you the idea that that is a horse and I think you, I did a pretty good job. And then of course I've got to just kind of fix these little muddly areas down here as I've been working on this top part for now and um, I think I need to work my way down here fix all this and then do my white highlighting so far what do you think I'll show you the end project and then I'll show you how it is hanging on my wall all right here I am adding some random highlights on my horse some of this beautiful brown Lots of this brown is down into this area here. The way that I see it. <laughs> Just want to distinguish the uh, the head here. Get this brown in there. Just some highlights here and there. And then I'm going to add the whites. Well, this is a little bit more color than the one that I showed you, but I'm really, really liking it, so I'm happy with it. And that's all that matters, and I think my husband's really going to like it. I think he's going to be surprised. You know, remove some of this brown. It's too much right there. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight it with some of the white. I need some white paint. Get that in there on a dry brush and uh, let's see how that goes oops there that's the sound of my paint not me <laughs> not that I don't make that noise <laughs> every once in a while sometimes you just have to but that's my brush and I probably didn't pick up the best brush for this yeah this is a little stiff let me get one that's nice and soft a little bit softer so I'm just gonna highlight with the white on the face of my horse and he has a lot of highlights where his face would be at a higher point here 
a little bit down here. And anywhere that I feel like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have put so much, I will take some off. No big deal. Okay, I'm going to continue highlighting as I go along and I will show you my finished product.